Alright, and part 2, AG6IF, we're configuring our tough switch for three nodes, three Arden nodes, and two LAN ports. Okay, so we're going to add... Okay, we got one Alt-T's. We're going to run VLAN ID 2. Okay, so... We've got a T there, tag, tag, tag... And E and E, and one more here. We're going to run for our regular data. VLAN 11. This is my. This is um. Untag. This is DT. DT link. All right. So untagged. We're going to be. Um, Port one, and then these port four and five are going to get the DHCP service from port one. Okay, so that's how that looks. Management: we have three nodes, all T's. We got the untagged on eleven. The second and third node will be not will not be listening for DHCP requests. All right, and our management port is 11. I'm going to leave everything else defaulted here. Save changes. And when this comes back up, what I'll do is I'll show you the uh, Arden nodes. And we should see DT link between these two guys. All right, let's go to our Arden node. Mesh status. Okay, remember this is the node that's given us the IP address, which is a 10.2, I think. And there's our uh, there's our subnet. All right, mesh status back in there. These two guys are linked together with coax or with uh, Ethernet. Sorry. Yeah. There's our DT link right there. That's exactly what you want to see. If I go in here, I should also be able to see the DHCP scope that was. Uh, clients that were handed out I'm going here and you can see my laptop that I'm using is a 154 and these two uh, they haven't expired yet one of them is the actual tough switch and the other one is the last tough switch that I put in uh, into this um, into this node a few minutes ago a half hour ago or so okay and remember, my I, my address on my PC is a dot one fifty four. All right. So at this point, this node is ready to service three. And this uh, tough switch is ready to service three nodes. DT linking. The first node is going to hand IP addresses to any clients that might be plugged into port four and five. Uh, this guy can link our uh, microwave station now. And the two sites with two identical nodes, and uh, so that's how you do it. Watch out! <coughs> Watch out for the X W M5 Nano Station M5. It has a bug in there. If you use the main port, which is normally the one you would normally use, it does not DT link with its neighbors. And once again, that um, that bug in the firmware cost me it's not in the Arden firmware, it's in the actual hardware firmware. That bug cost me three or four hours of troubleshooting. It's like, what is wrong with these VLADs? Why isn't this working? Thank you to Joe for posting that information out on the web. Uh, I do appreciate it. Okay, part one, part two, uh, we got a, a tough, tough switch up and running for a three node, two LAN environment. It's quite easy to change that around. Uh, if you want to, look at the pattern here. 
management, tag frames, these three, uh, DT linking on VLAN 2, and then here we have untagged frames, and this guy, and these two ports are going to talk to each other for DHCP services. This is Jim, AG6IF. It is Saturday night. No, it is Monday night. How about that? When you're retired, it doesn't matter anymore. I just retired this year. So, Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you get involved with the Art and Mesh Network, thank you. It's a help to the community. If you build an Art and Mesh Network in your community, you can pass IP traffic right across ham frequencies. It's really fun. Nano stations, nano bridges, rockets, uh, and we can make some pretty long links, like up to 70 miles we have one here in Southern California, so, and passing 20 to 30 megabits. So, thanks for watching, AG6IF73.